Hello and welcome to the Worry Bloke channel. Today I'll show you how to change the resource motor mapping configuration in Betaflight so you don't have to rewire your ESCs or flight controller. So, what's all this motor mapping thing? Well, sometimes it may not be convenient to mount your ESCs or flight controller oriented the way they're supposed to be. Particularly if you've got a very tight build and you want things arranged slightly differently. If you're using separate ESCs mounted on the quad arms, this isn't such a problem. But if you're using an all-in-one stack like this Magnum F4 Mini, it can be really inconvenient to mount it in the way the manufacturer wants it to be mounted. And you can't rotate the ESC board without rotating the flight controller board, which makes things really inconvenient. This means that the motors are effectively in the wrong place. And sometimes you just plain didn't realize you'd mounted your stack the wrong way round, and you don't want to take it all apart and resolder everything. Now, don't get confused with the orientation of the gyro on the flight controller board, which will have some arrow or markings to show you which is the front. Like just there. That's the way that is supposed to go on this quad. This can be mounted any way round, and then you can change the your axis degrees in the board and sensor alignment section in Betaflight. You can even mount it upside down, although that's pretty unlikely. Now, the default for your motors is like this. You've got motors 1, 2, 3 and 4. And that's what they look like in the Betaflight configurator, like this. And the flight controller motor outputs are wired to the inputs of the ESCs on here. One of the checks you should always do before you maiden your quad is check your motors are turning the right way and the motors are correctly connected. And here's when you'll spot the problem if you've wired it up incorrectly. With this particular build, although it's not that tight, I wanted the battery connector protected by the frame inside the back here. So I needed to rotate this stack through 90 degrees. That's the way it's designed to be mounted with the arrow at the front and I wanted it mounted this way round. And also I wanted it so that I could access the USB connector at the back. When I put these ducts on it would be very difficult to get to that USB connector. With the props off the quad connected to your PC and a battery connected, you can start a motor test. I've put some bits of tape on the motors so you can see which way they're turning. On the motor tab, you can check that the safety switch is on and we can start running a test. So this is motor one here. If we turn that on, you'll see that motor three is actually turning which is wrong. And if we start motor two, motor one is turning. And if we start motor three, we've got motor four turning. And if we start motor four, we've got motor two running. Now this is because the board has been switched around and the way these are wired at the motors, everything's in the wrong place. Basically, all these motors are wired to the wrong output of the ESC and the flight controller. They're 90 degrees out, basically. And if you try and fly it, you're going to be in for a big surprise. Now, you could rewire everything. But the Betaflight developers have provided a way to change the configuration using the resource mapping. Basically, like wiring in software, if you like. You can change this in Betaflight using a custom motor mix, but it's a messy way to do things. And the easiest way to do it is just change the resource map. So go to the CLI and type in resource list. And here you'll see all the allocated resources and what they're wired up to. Now this will be different on every single quad. And in this case, you can see that motor one is connected to B00. 
Motor 2 is connected to B01. Motor 3 is connected to A03 and motor 4 is connected to A02. And probably the easiest way to get your head around this is to draw it out. So, motor 1 is connected to B00. Motor 2 is connected to B01. Motor 3 is connected to A03. And motor 4 is connected to B, uh, sorry, A02. So that's how the configuration is currently in Betaflight. And clearly that's wrong. So the way this is wired around, we've got motor 1 is currently connected to B00. Motor 2 is connected to B01. Motor 3 is connected to A03. A03. And motor 4 is connected to A02. And this is the way that it's currently configured in the resource mapping in Betaflight. Now, we actually want this to essentially rotate round. So what we want is motor one, not to map to B00, but we want it to map to this guy up here, which is B01. And motor two here, we is currently mapped to B01, and what we want to map it to is A02. And we go down the list, motor three, is currently mapped to A03, and we want to map that to that guy there, which is B00. And motor, motor four, up here, we want, instead of A02, we want to map it to A03. So basically, these are all switched around by one, if you like. So, it's got around that way. Now if we write this out more fully, and we've got resource in front of these, like this, it becomes clear what we need to do in beta flight. So, if we go back to the command line interface, the CLI, if we type in here, resource motor 1, B01, we're changing the mapping from B00 to B01. So if we type resource, Motor one B zero one and ignore the warning about things being already assigned, it's because it is already assigned. This will sort itself out. So the next one is motor two, and you can hit just hit the up arrow to repeat what was there before. So we want to map motor two to A02. A02. There we go. And motor 3, we want to map to B00. There we go. And motor 4, we want to map to A03. And once you've done that, type save, and that will reboot because you're in the CLI. Reconnect to your quad, and if we go back into the CLI, and type in resource list, you will now see that we have got motor 1 is now mapped to B01. Motor 2 is mapped to A02. Motor 3 is mapped to B00. And motor 4 
is mapped to A03. Now if you do this and you make a mistake, it's not a problem, just go back, check the resource mapping and redo it and it'll all be fine. So let's do a quick test to make sure that the motors are connected correctly in the configuration. So go back into the beta flight configurator, go to the motors tab, check the safety switch and let's start motor 1. And now we've got motor 1 turning correctly. Motor 2, motor 2 is turning. Motor 3, motor 3 is turning. Turn that off. And motor 4 is turning. And that's all correct. So we're all good and we're ready to fly. You probably won't need to do this very often, but what it does mean is you don't have to worry too much about getting everything the right way round and all the hardware and wiring in a mess. And don't forget, if you update the version of Betaflight, you will lose this configuration and you'll have to reset it. Thanks for watching, and if you found that useful, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. And if it's your first visit, then subscribe to the channel for updates. I'll see you next time. Thank you.